Please, only tell what you witnessed with your own eyes, what you saw with your own eyes. I saw her killing Stompy. Sebakulu, who claims he was spirited out of South Africa by the ANC to gag him in 1991, has returned yeah. under a witness protection yeah. scheme. Mrs. Mandela is suing him for criminal slander. She raised her hand twice and put it down as well in a form of stabbing. During the struggle, Winnie was at the heart of the ANC. That grew into a delicately maintained distance with the leadership. In the past week, it's widened into a gulf. She criticized her own party for losing touch with the people. A government minister responded by calling her a wayward charlatan in need of help. Azerka Kachalia, now a senior figure in the administration, was an anti-apartheid activist. He'll appear before the Truth Commission on Thursday. The ANC held the moral high ground. The ANC held the mantle of the liberators, correctly and justifiably, the mantle of the liberators of this country. But yes, within the ANC there were ordinary mortals as well, people who uh, perhaps did not see the line too clearly between what was politically and morally correct in the struggle and what was just sheer criminal behavior. But the poorer sections of the black population, now free to live and at least look for work in areas they were once banned from, still regard Winnie Mandela as the heroine who stayed inside the country to fight. Though stripped of government posts, she's held on to the leadership of the ANC's Women's League. Next month, she's due to stand for the job of party deputy president. The Truth Commission revelations are unlikely to boost her already dwindling chances. The Women's League is now less than wholehearted in support, though colleagues still admire her past record. Whether negatively or positively, the role she had played in the struggle of this country will not be forgettable by, by many of us. We know where we come from. It has not been an easy journey. But I do not believe that without contributions and roles that have pl have been played by people like Comrade Winnie, would we would have achieved what we have achieved. She's not good news if you're in government and uh, you have to depend on her or work with her. Uh, because she speaks out of turn, uh, because she doesn't understand rules, because she doesn't appear to have sensitivity to conflicts of interest. But always there's been a sense that you can't really criticize her as an individual because uh, of her historical record, because of her heroic deeds in the past, because of her relationship to the president and so on. At the Truth Commission hearings, there are signs that the ANC may finally be about to bear its teeth that the woman has become a liability. Later this week, evidence is expected from leading figures in the anti-apartheid struggle, including the ANC. For the first time, they'll have to deliver their verdict in public on Winnie Madikizela Mandela's moral behavior. Their accounts will be the ultimate test of how much the ANC wishes to shed the cold, harsh light of truth on its own record during the fight for democracy in South Africa. Gabby Rado, Channel 4 News, at the Truth Commission hearing in Johannesburg. Well, with some ANC leaders moving against Winnie Mandela as she launches her campaign for the deputy presidency of the organization, I've been talking to Tabu Mbeki, the man who currently holds that job and the deputy president of South Africa. Mr Mbeki is widely tipped as the country's next president and he's here to boost Anglo-South African cooperation and investment in his country. When I spoke to him at his London hotel, I began by asking him what would happen if Winnie Mandela was elected at next month's ANC conference. Uh, I'm, I'm certain myself that uh, what will come out of the ANC conference is confirmation of these basic policy positions that we've taken about the future of the country. And, and I don't think whatever happens to the leadership of the ANC would change that. But uh, uh, there's no guarantee about who might be elected into what position. I, I, I think we just wait and see. You see, one of the things which seems to be happening is that as the ANC leadership and government and ministers and you as vice president consolidate the way the country is run. It seems that Mrs. Mandela, whatever her uh, guilt or innocence on all these other matters, has forged a relationship with the dispossessed, with the people outside. And in many ways, 
she seems to symbolize the bit of South Africa, the very big bit of South Africa that's left out, has not caught up, is not catching up. Well, uh, I, some, of, some of this, John, is, is uh, perception. Uh, it's, it's, it's reporting. The reality of the matter is that uh, there's ministers, national government, provincial governments, mayors, and all these people are actually in very regular contact and interaction with precisely this.